everyone welcome back to my channel so it is currently seven o'clock in the morning and i've just woke up and i'm not completely here right now like i'm still somewhat asleep but i wanted i wanted to get these videos out because i don't have a lot of time to record today and i have two separate videos to record today and so i was like let me just start first thing in the morning so here i am seven o'clock in the morning doing this video and i really wanted to do this video because i downloaded a if you couldn't tell by the title what this video is about we are going to go into cast and see what all these new defaults look like i downloaded a bunch of default um skin replace or not a bunch but like you know i downloaded a skin replacement i downloaded eye replacement um i did also download cast like create a sim clothing replacements um basically just a bunch of different things that i would like to test in my game so i'm gonna make a brand new sim and we're gonna start off in let's just do granon because this is like the tiniest world i've ever downloaded and it doesn't take that long to load <laughs> i'm not even gonna go into the worlds because i'm here to create the household so we're gonna go right into cast what bro sims be looking hit as fuck in this game what is with the freaking sims in this damn game <laughs> those arms those legs what are you doing oh my god finally we have a what she's floating what is okay this is like a semi-normal one at least she isn't floating we're just gonna go with her and call it a day. What are you wearing? So this is a default skin that I'm using. Hey everyone, future editing Diana. I just wanted to shout out Pleasant Sims on YouTube for recommending these defaults that I'm using in this video. That's where I found them originally. I can't believe I forgot to mention that, but it was early in the morning and my brain wasn't functioning. Okay, so back to the video. Um, We can like zoom into her face. I don't remember what I think the skin is by oh my god it's like a it's a realistic skin that i downloaded so yeah you can see like the different swatches okay so i've got her in her swimsuit and you can see her skin better so i don't remember who any of this is by because any of what i'm going to show you is by because i literally just went on like a crazy downloading spree but yeah you can see here the different swatches and yeah so that's the skin i really like that um okay so her hair i also downloaded some hair texture replacements so let's see what these look like she does have a hair now that she's using i feel like do you guys notice a difference i feel like i probably should have looked at this before um, I feel like maybe with that one I noticed a difference. I feel like I should have looked at these before um, making this video because god these hairstyles in this game dude wow they are not nice. Look at how nice custom content here looks like why would you even want to use any of these? Maybe I noticed a little bit of a difference I'm not completely sure with the hair replacement. I just feel like EA hairs in this game and the Sims 3 in particular are just like, and Sims 2 to be honest, like they are just hit. Like people bitch about the Sims 4, which they rightly should honestly, but at the same time it's like, girl, have you seen Sims 3 <laughs> and 2 hair? <laughs> Cause it's bad, it's like bad. Let me just check my mods folder to see if I've got the file in there. So my computer started acting up when I went into my documents and it was taking me a while to get to my packages folder so I'm not even going to bother looking in there right now but I think I have the hair, the hair, I can check once I'm done with this video and just like, just to make sure, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm assuming I have it in, I don't know why I wouldn't put the file in my folder so yeah that's that so we can go to now brows are i did do a brow replacement as well and i feel like i do see a difference with the brows because the brows look like i mean they looked hit in the game okay they looked hit but yeah these look much better let's give her a different hair color because the blonde is not doing it for me sorry let's just give her this hair and then like 
Maybe with the darker hair it looks better. I mean, the black hair looks dope. But maybe I'm biased because I have black hair, but... <laughs> um, yeah, but I definitely see a difference with the brows, absolutely for sure. So let's go into the eyes because I did get an eye replacement, default eye replacement by Burnt Waffles, I believe. Don't quote me on that. I'm not completely sure, but... Um, yeah, so you can see the different colors. Here's like violet or purple or whatever. I don't even know what color is supposed to be. Orange? What? <laughs> green is gorgeous. Ooh, I like green. Blue. Gray. Red. Do people actually have these eye colors? Let me know in the comments. Olive green, which is also quite pretty. It goes well with her skin tone. And then this color, I don't even know what this is supposed to be. Hazel or something? I'm just gonna give her, I'm just gonna keep her with the... Let's do the hazel ones. So yeah, those are the default eye... Oh my god, look how beautiful! So right now, I am not... I mean, technically, I'm not using custom content. Technically, I sort of am using custom content because these are package files that you have to throw in your package folders, the like. But it's not... It's just like an overwrite of the original thing, you know? And like, look at how much better already like i haven't even changed her like face so I, i'm literally just using like default eye nose and chin shapes and now i'm going to use a default lip shape and then we can just go in the sliders and okay so i fixed up her face a little bit more i did her lips and chin as well so yeah you can see i'll try and zoom in on my video editor but you can see the lip definition you don't even have to use like a nose or lip mask or anything she's gorgeous right another thing i ended up downloading was clothing texture replacements for certain packages or certain expansion packs is what i meant i kind of just want to fix up her body yada yada because it looks kind of hit a little bit in my opinion I'm like what is with this like i feel like sliders in this game can either do you a world of good or a world of bad honestly because shit turns out hit sometimes like for real for real okay let's give ha i hate how low the underwear and pants are in this game why is it cut so low i don't get it okay so there's your swimsuit you can kind of see like um the texture difference with the fabric um that's really all this default or like cast clothing item replacement fixes i feel like it's just like the texture i don't think it changes the overall appearance of the clothing this is the only sims 3 cast default replacement clothing thing i could find if anyone watching this knows where i could find like default cast clothing replacements because that was something that I was planning on doing when I had The Sims 3 was making it so that I could just download default replacements for things. That way I don't have to download like a crap ton of custom content because technically the items are already in game. I did that with my Sims 2 game. I feel like this still looks a little bit rubbery, but I did that with my Sims 2 game where I just went and downloaded a bunch of default replacements for the clothing and the hair and everything in The Sims 2. So that's kind of what I wanted to do with my Sims 3 game was just download default replacements of different clothing items. I don't know, I feel like I'm not noticing that much of a difference. I do notice a difference with some of the items, but not everything. Again, I probably should have seen, probably should have looked like, it's like this one, I don't notice that much of a difference. This one, I noticed a difference. I should have done it before and after, but I didn't think of that, so. Yeah, and the default replacement clothing, like the ones I have in my Sims 2 game, they, like, rework the whole look of the actual clothing item. So you can download a default replacement that basically just looks like an amplified version of that thing, so it looks a lot better. But then there are default clothing replacements in The Sims 2 where it looks totally different, and it just looks more modern and a lot better for your game, in my opinion. And so that's the kind of stuff that I wanted to download for The Sims 3, but I couldn't find anything. Why is it so low? So I just 
downloaded this cast default texture replacement for the clothing instead i just hate how low it is like this isn't 2001 anymore girl nobody wears low riders like look at her ass i mean come on come on these ones look decent um yeah i definitely noticed a texture difference with these ones okay we're just gonna like leave her like this because yeah um, so that is it for the default replacements, the default replacement eyebrows, the hair, the skin, the eyes, the clothing. Um, if you would like to download these, I'll link them all in the description. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you'd like to see more of these, let me know in the comments what ideas you have and i'll see if i can do those thank you so much for watching if you enjoy this video please give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more i will see you in the next one